Sorry, because if I didn't mean to skip it, but there you go. Oh! Three, two, one, go! So, Fish Cox, if you know, St. Patrick's Athletic 2 at Turner's Cross, and um, I'm doing this uh, part of the video the next day because, um, yeah, it was good crack last night, let's say, let's put it that way. But, um, yeah, great trip down to Cork, to be fair. Um, Cork City fans were fantastic, met quite a few of them as well. Um, it's always nice to meet uh, fans of other clubs that maybe you wouldn't get down to very often, let's say, to be fair. Um, plenty of Pats fans on that train as well. I'd say the train on the way up had about I'd say 75% of that train was Pats fans, uh, certainly the 10 o'clock one anyway, <coughs> excuse me, and look, it was a great occasion, it was a great atmosphere, as you can see in the video, a uh, bit of crack as well. Um, the game itself um, was different to last week's game, I thought, I thought generally Pats were more in control of this, this, this game, to be fair. Uh, from early on, Mark Doyle's goal, where he gets in ahead of Hoonahan, a brilliant cross by McLaughlin actually, to be fair really digs it out there, uh, just evades Lonergan, but Doyle is in at the back uh, and sneaks around his man and gets in ahead of Hoonahan and uh, gets great contact on it actually, and uh, Burke and goal is no chance, so great start for Pats and a great finish from Mark Doyle there as well, um, they probably sat back a little bit after that to be honest, um, and Cork did come on to them a bit and they created some opportunities, Keaton had a lovely strike from outside the area, caught it sweetly, just didn't curl. Uh, from it all in the last moment and uh, you don't often see Linus standing looking at a ball go by his post like you know what I mean but um, yeah it was very very close wasn't it it was a great strike and he was unlucky he had a header then and I think he should do better with the header particularly Rory Keating we know how good he is and again he was Cork's main threat to be honest um, you know he tried to slip in Keane Murphy in the second half as well he can do an awful lot he can do everything up front nearly to be fair he can drop deep and become almost like a number 10 playmaker, hold up the ball, run the channels and generally score. But luckily for Pat's point of view, he didn't really have his shooting boots or his uh, shooting head, so to speak, on this week. Um, but I thought then pretty much uh, Pat's in the second half controlled it without creating an awful lot, but they weren't giving much away either. Um, they were giving away more chances, I thought, against Cork last week. They did have a chance before the score, Pats, I should have mentioned, so when Levy struck and it was brilliantly cleared off the line by Hoonahan, to be fair. Um, I think if Levy had that chance again, he'd probably go for the far post because there was more space there, but um, that was an opportunity for Pats. Pats then, I don't think there were major trouble in the second half, but if you're only 1-0 up, you're never really sure, are you? Let's be real about it. Cork did try and look, their effort levels and all that were brilliant and the fans tried to get behind them, to be fair to them as well, but... but Pats brought on McClelland and Carty and it seemed to be at the right time just to give them that added energy and that boost and McClelland, they brought freshness, McClelland came on and immediately was involved and just drove a Cork, had a shot well saved by Burke. Um, after the save, Burke is obviously out of position but Carty uh, unleashes a wonderful left foot strike and Burke has no chance, he's not getting back there to make the save but it's a brilliant strike by Carty and uh, Pats 2-0 up, 82 minutes, and um, at this point, that was them home and hosed into the FAI Cup final again. Um, Cork City, will they be disappointed? Of course you'll be disappointed if you lose a final, semi-final at home, but um, they know they've more important things maybe to be concerned about. And it was always going to be difficult, I think, for Cork. Um, I thought it could be a difficult game for Pats, all right, but it was always going to be difficult for Cork, I think, to maybe get through and then win the final, put it that way, but... Another um, Bohemian St. Pat's Athletic final um, on the cards, and uh, that's for another day. But for me, my man the match was Joe Redmond. Um, I hadn't realised that RT gave man the match when I made this decision myself, so I was nearly going to change because of that. But no, he was my personal man in the match. I think he marshaled the Pat's defence brilliantly, and that's what it's about. It's about marshalling that defence, uh, showing real leadership at the back. Tended to be in the right place at the right time every time as well and that's not a coincidence that's just smartness um i thought norman alongside him done well he did do well as well so he he was an honorable mention i think mark doyle uh, going forward in general it was good as well for pats as well but for me yeah joe redmond's man of the match 
So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your bell notification button if you're a Cork fan, Pats fan. Um, how was the day for you? Um, did you enjoy it? And yeah, see you next time.